Yes, so today we will talk about loss of pregnancy or what, or you can call it spontaneous abortion. Okay, the pregnancy is actually the time, the duration of time from fertilization up to delivery. That whole period is called pregnancy. We divide the pregnancy into three trimester, first trimester, second trimester, and third trimester. So the first trimester is usually first three weeks or you can say up to 12 weeks, that is first trimester. Then next three months is actually second trimester and then up to delivery, that is called third trimester. So first trimester is up to 12 weeks. Then second trimester is from 13 weeks to 26 weeks. Uh, from how you will remember this, just 13 multiplied by 2, this will become 26. So from 13 weeks to 26 weeks it is second trimester then third trimester is from 27 weeks up to delivery that is third trimester now the uh, in the the loss of pregnancy in the first trimester will maybe occur because of the chromosomal abnormalities or hormonal abnormalities chromosomal abnormalities you just remember from here trisomy 31 that is patau syndrome most common cause of spontaneous abortion okay Trisomy 18, Edwards syndrome, and 45X, okay, that is Turner syndrome. Now, hormonal abnormalities you see here, decreased progesterone, secondary to HCG, decreased mint, okay. Human chorionic gonadotropin hormone. <clears throat> okay, now you, now you see here this HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin hormone. They are same, this hormone is same like thyroid stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, follicular stimulating hormone. They all are same, same because they have same alpha unit and they are different from each other because of beta unit. Okay, so HCG is same like luteinizing hormone. So it will act on corpus luteum to produce progesterone and then progesterone prevent menses and this progesterone is going to keep pregnancy. Okay, so re now remember, now you can see here if this, if this human chorionic gonadotropin is decreased, then there will be decreasement in progesterone and because of decreasement in progesterone a true of endometrium will be occur and loss of pregnancy will be occur okay and that is what we call repeated early pregnancy loss that is actually because in the first trimester that is because of hormonal abnormalities okay now hcg is actually produced um, six to eight days after fertilization okay now in the second trimester and the third trimester together we do uh, loss of pregnancies occur because of amnionitis okay curiamnionitis infection of curiamniotic membrane from ascending infection infection usually bacterial result in free mature rupture of membrane and lead to abortion of our free mature labor okay here you can see this is placenta this petal is surrounded by two membrane the outer membrane is called curion that is actually a placental membrane and the inner membrane which is a fetal membrane that is called amnion Amnion. Okay, so together this is called curioamniotic membrane. Curio amniotic membrane. And here is amniotic fluid and this is fetus. Okay, and this is placenta. So from ascending infection, it may rupture, it may lead to the infection of the curioamniotic membrane. Okay, and it can also infect this amniotic fluid. So there will be premature rupture of this membrane which may lead to abortion or premature labor, okay? So this is how you have to remember curioamnionitis. Now in the third trimester, abruption placenta and placenta previa. Abruption placenta, abrupt pain plus bleeding, okay? And prematurely detachment of placenta from its implantation site, that is called abruption placenta, okay? And placental placenta previa implantation of placenta in the lower segment of the uterus, there will be severe bleeding and will lead to premature labor okay i'm not going to explain these things but i'm just going to tell you guys so that you have to remember the loss of pregnancy in the first trimester occur because of chromosomal abnormalities and hormonal abnormalities in the second trimester curioamnionitis and in the third trimester abruption placenta and placentia previa okay bye bye